What up, YouTube? Uh, I haven't, haven't made a video in almost a week because, to be honest, there hasn't been really anything worth talking about. At least in my opinion. I don't, I don't like talking about the bullshit. You know, who's tweeting what and, you know, who's saying that they're afraid of who and, you know, things being taken out of context, people putting, like, one little statement under the microscope and all that shit. I, I'm not into all that bullshit, all right? I'm into looking at the facts, looking at what we know. Looking at what we can um, make an educated speculation about, you know that that's what I'm into. And uh, really, there hasn't been nothing going on lately. Um, welterweight division to me looks like it it's at a standstill. Like, you know, a couple fights got announced, not really all that great. You know, Kelbrook versus uh, Chavez and. Um, Brandon Rios is going to fight um, Timothy Bradley, finally, that got made. And then um, uh, Devin Alexander is going to fight Martinez. You know, just like no nothing real, too, not really interesting going on right now. Um, and I'm, I've really been just keeping my mouth shut because I'm just waiting to see what, what's going to happen. Because really... There's not really much to go off of to really make any real speculations. But today, uh, there's been some information about Floyd Mayweather Jr. that is spreading like rapid fire. And um, I want to talk about it because when this whole thing with Manny Pacquiao happened, I gave my take on it, you know, with the whole thing with his shoulder. You know, and, and I, I gave my honest opinion. I thought that it was just a bullshit-ass excuse. And I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. But the thing is, I'm a boxing fan first. And um, I'm not going to accept any boxer's bullshit. And I'm not going to try to cover up and make excuses. And, and you know, I, I, I call it how I see it, you know, right now. That's why I'm not talking about Keith Thurman at all. Because right now... Nobody knows what the fuck is going on with Keith Thurman. And um, I don't want to make any judgments just yet because I want to see what happens. I want to see who he ends up fighting, you know. Um, but that's another video. This is, this is actually not about Keith Thurman at all. I'm just throwing that out there right now. I'm reserving my, my judgment on him because um, I'm just waiting to see what... Well, his next fight is gonna be the same thing with Amir Khan. I'm, I'm not, I'm not making no judgments about nobody right now because really nobody's making any moves, and we really got to see what fights get made. Once the fights get made, then you could be like, okay, yeah, he's a cherry picker, or okay, you know, we we, we gotta wait and see what ha what's happening. But um, as for what's going on with Floyd Mayweather Jr., apparently. He uh, was on illegal IVs before the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight. That's the word on the street. I really want to get more information on this, but this this is my take on it. If it is true, because I've been giving Mayweather full credit for beating Manny Pacquiao. I'm not I'm not um taking this shoulder injury bullshit in, into account, but. I'm going to say this right now. If it turns out that all this stuff is true about, uh, you know, these illegal IVs and, and all this, um, I'm not going to give him full credit for beating Manny Pacquiao. And that's just the way it is. Like, you know, he made such a big deal about this stupid-ass test. We had to wait six years for this stupid-ass fight. And, um, and he, you know, the, for, for those of you who don't know, it's not just simply to keep him hydrated. The re There's a reason why these IVs are illegal. And that is because they can be used to conceal 
PEDs. That's why they're illegal. And if he really needed it, why is he getting IVs done at his house? He should be going to the hospital for that shit. See what I'm saying? And if you're gonna, if you're going to um, defend him on this, um, you ain't nothing but a fanboy. I'm just keeping it real. You ain't nothing but a fanboy. You ain't no boxing fan, nothing. You just a fanboy. If it turns out this stuff is true and, and all you want to do is defend him, you are just a straight up fanboy. Because you know what? I'm a Pacquiao fan, but what separates me from Pactard is when he made the excuses about his shoulder, I did not roll with it. I said, look, it's a bullshit ass excuse. He lost the fight. He just needs to admit that he lost the fight and, um, you know, just move on with your life. But, um, you know, the same thing goes with this situation. If you think that, you know, he's doing something illegal and you're going to defend it, um, I really don't give a fuck about what you got to say when it comes to the sport of boxing. That's just my stance on it, and I ain't gonna change it because you know what? You're just a bullshit ass fanboy. So, I, I really don't got no respect for you if all you are is a fanboy. You know? Now, we don't really know all the details of these allegations, and you know, I'm sure over the next couple of days, we're probably gonna hear all kinds of shit about this. So, I'm waiting to hear you know, more details on this situation, but if, if these allegations are true, I, I don't want to hear none of this TBE shit, I don't want to hear none about that people were hating on him, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit, because you know what, the motherfucker cheated, if, if these allegations are true, and you're so quick to, you know, jump on the allegations of Manny Pacquiao being on steroids and, and all this other shit. But then when your dude gets caught with something illegal, all you want to do is defend it. Nah, nah, that, that don't fly with me. Either you're a boxing fan or you're a fanboy. Warning, if you're a boxing fan, you're going to like my channel. If you're a fanboy, you are not going to like shit that I got to say. And that's just real. Anyways, feel free to leave a comment. Have a good day. And be respectful. Peace.